Welcome to Draytech Australia and New Zealand. The Draytech Vega 2860L and the Vega 2925L series routers have an integrated LTE modem. They accept standard sized SIM cards from major broadband service providers in Australia such as Telstra, Optus, Vodafone as well as others. In New Zealand these routers will work with broadband service providers such as Spark, Two Degrees, Vodafone as well as others. In this video I will show you how to configure the Vega 2860L and the Vega 2925L series routers to enable 4G communication via the integrated LTE modem. Before we start I should mention that the supported 4G LTE bands are band 3, band 7, band 8 and band 20. Also the frequency bands that are currently not supported are the band 28 and the 3G WCDMA band 5. The configuration steps covered here apply to Optus, Vodafone and Telstra networks. The first step is to install the SIM card into the router. Remove the SIM card covers plate using a small Phillips head screwdriver. Now insert the SIM card into the slot and ensure that the SIM card is inserted with the notch on the left hand side. Now reinstall the cover plate to prevent accidental removal of the SIM card. Two black coloured antennas would have been supplied with the router. These are screwed onto the two innermost sockets. If you are only going to use one antenna, ensure that it is screwed into the socket nearest the SIM card slot as shown here. Now that we have put the hardware together, we can start to configure the router. We will first need to log into the router. Now we need to enable the LTE WAN interface in the router. To do this, we go to WAN General Setup Configuration menu. Select LTE, check that LTE is enabled and active mode always on. Click OK to save the settings. We now need to configure the LTE WAN port. To do this, go to WAN Internet Access Configuration menu and select 3G, 4G LTE modem, uh, which is DHCP mode, for the LTE WAN from the pull down menu. Click on the Details page button. Select Enable and select the required network mode. Here we have selected the default mode, which is 4G, 3G, and 2G. Now enter the APN name corresponding to the service provider that you will be connecting to. For Optus we use the APN name Connect. For Vodafone we use live.vodafone.com and for Telstra we use telstra.internet. It is possible that you may have been given a different APN name by your service provider and you can enter this here. I will be connecting to Telstra so we enter telstra.internet for the APN name. We leave the other settings at default values. Now click OK to save the settings. Once this has been done, go to the online status physical connection menu to check that the LTE connection is now up. This may take a minute and in some cases you may need to restart the router after you have completed the configuration. Once the connection is up, you should see the LTE status appear in green text and a valid IP address is shown as well as an indication of the signal quality. We can now access the internet and the setup is completed. Now we can test the connection by trying to connect to a website. I will try going to draytech.com.au. We can now see that the connection is working. Thank you for watching. For more information, please go to our website www.draytech.com.au or you can send an email to sales at draytech.com.au.